What is up guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts and we are talking about the main event of the evening between Kelvin, the Boston finisher cater, and Dan Dynamite Ige. Cannot wait for this fight. These two are honestly very exciting, very explosive, very high level featherweights and, and I could see both of them challenging for a world title very soon, especially with a victory here. Uh, Calvin Cater coming off a brutal knockout win over Jeremy Stevens with the elbow, puts Stevens down and out. Brutal, brutal, brutal. It's one of, honestly, the best elbow finishes I've seen in the octagon for Dan Ige. Coming off of, some people said controversial, but at the end of the day, it's a victory over Edson Barboza. And honestly, it might not have been that controversial. He hit Edson a lot on the feet and was cracking with shots. Sure, he was also touched too, but at the end of the day, the judges gave it to him for a reason, and he is the winner. And he's now in, I believe, the biggest fight of his career. Number six on Tapology's rankings versus number nine. We don't know how accurate those are compared to the UFC rankings, but we know they're top 10 guys, and we know there's title uh, written all over, the title contention written all over. This could be the number one title challenger fight if Volkanovski wants a quick turnaround and these guys get it done quick and want to come back. Now let's break it down a bit for Cater extremely i'm gonna say extremely twice extremely crisp boxing he's got nice kicks too he'll rip the body he'll rip the legs beat jeremy stevens and shane burgos he did very well against magomed sharipov and honestly i think he would have won that fight if it was a five round fight nasty nasty elbow his elbow is nasty and if he lands on anybody he'll put them down for dan Ige, very aggressive boxing pressure fighter solid wrestling game too and i mean he beat edson barboza fair and square and no matter what we can say it's controversial or not edson wasn't able to knock him out he did awesome and at the end of the day he's a victor and he's fighting the biggest fight of his life against calvin cater i can't wait for this fight right here this is really one of the most exciting fights in the past couple months for me this is a very intense matchup between high level fighters with huge title implications if i gotta give you a result i'm expecting this High level fight between two high level guys. It's going to be a competitive battle. I think that both men will have their moments, but I do believe that we see Calvin Cater get a win by unanimous decision. I think he pulls it off. I think that it's a, a good fight. I think maybe three rounds to two, maybe even four rounds to one, but Ige will land and he will come. But at the end of the day, we're going to see the victory by the one Boston finisher, Calvin Cater. I'm originally from Massachusetts, so I represent the 617 team. Calvin Cater's the man, and I'm giving it to him. Now, Ige's no no slouch. Don't doubt Ige. He could prove me, prove me way wrong. At the end of the day, it's a prediction. It's on paper what I'm thinking. Now, as for a bet, 315, that's a pretty wide margin, and there's a lot of things that can happen. I wouldn't throw it down. But if you're confident you got the money to do it, hey, go for it. If there's a prop bet I was going to put on this one, I don't think I would. I could see the fight going past the first round without a doubt. I guess that would be my prop bet. That's the only thing I could really think of. And who knows if it even does because these guys are high-level scrappers. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.